Welcome everybody, my name is Lazy Actor, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, King's combos and how to pull them off uh, for this tutorial, or really just quick little look at me, look what I can do. Little guide here, go into your controller setup, mimic what I'm doing here. Now I'm actually using a controller. Now it's important if you want to follow exactly how I do them uh, to skip the whole 48 hours of me trying to figure this shit out. Uh, you want to copy exactly what I got here. Um, the reason being is because you're going to need some very key, simultaneous key presses that I could not find another way to do it. Um, but also, the benefits here is your throws here and your LB and RB, they're actually really easy to get to. Um, believe it or not, because King uses a lot of the 1-4 uh, combination, having it on your right stick, actually pretty glorious. Um, this one... It's not as good, but I haven't figured out another way to handle it out. The 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 three no, that's a, a I'm brand new attacking a three two combination. That shit right there. That's I rarely ever have to use it, and the few times that I do use it, I don't really it doesn't bother me. Um, and then of course you have your your uh, one two and your three four on your LT and RT. You get to do that anytime you want. So adjust those controls to sim similar to what I've got here, uh, simply because getting used to them first is going to be the first step. All right, um, most people are probably going to see the big ass uh, rolling death cradle and want to do that. So I guess I'll start with that one. Keep you interested. All right, for rolling uh, death cradles, actually um, it's a three part uh, combo. Uh, two parts in it I'm pretty sure can be teched but I haven't really I've just memorized stuff and started learning to try to make muscle memory so I haven't gone into practice I'm not a I'm, I'm still a scrub I'm scrub level like everybody else right now so it's gonna be pretty simple you forward hold off for a tiny fraction of a second down crouch click in your right stick and if you fuck it up that's what it's gonna look like there's your arm breaker and if you fuck it up that's what it's gonna look like arm breaker you have to. It's actually a quick tip here. If you just press forward and then you roll from down into uh, forward crouch, yeah, you, it's a little bit more consistent. That's what I just started doing again. All right, uh, arm breaker is pretty simple. All right, now this is where it starts getting a little complicated. So you're gonna skip these because we don't need them right now. This is the one where you so the first part of this is just the arm break. During that animation, you have to do this combination and call chicken wing face lock. They sound stupid, but trust me, it's awesome. All right, it's going to be a simple combination of two one and then L two, L one and L two at the same time. So and then you should get that. Uh, this is going to take you just a moment to get down. It took me quite a while to get this consistently. I actually failed the initial grab more than I failed this part now. Uh, so you're just going to hit triangle, square, L1, R2, or I guess if you're on Xbox, it'd be Y, X, left button, left trigger. Once you can do that consistently, the next step is actually the rolling it goes straight in it's only a three part combo the issue you're gonna find is that it's just complicated um as in you need simultaneous button presses of three the ones that always get me isn't the two here as you can see here uh when you have uh well for instance here we have one and three is the first part of this that's easy for us that's just our l1 all right and then the bottom one there is three and four that's just our rt uh, and then our R1 is 4 and 2. And then uh, our left trigger is 1 and 2. Um, what you're going to find is that for the last part of this combination, you can't, you can't really input it unless you, I mean, if you're agile thumb there, yeah, you could... You could hit X, triangle, circle, pretty pretty consistently, I imagine. I can never manage. The issue with these grabs, right, is uh, take the last 
part that came through my feedback here of my combo. Uh, we had a one and then the combination of one, two, and three. That will fuck up your entire combo. It ruins the grab. You have to do it perfectly every time. Um, and there's a little bit of timing to them. So just show uh, what I'm talking about here. <laughs> There it is. Now what came at? Oh wow, fail. There it is. Or it's not. What am I doing wrong here? Uh, oh. There it is. Alright, I've been doing all these combos for the last 48 hours. It's ridiculous. Extremely powerful combo, right? Um, once you start getting it down, I can't wait to start pulling this off in real matches. Just simply because the face of your opponent as you're just stepping on them is probably amazing. How are you going to end up doing this one? The, the timing of it is what gets you. Um, so for the last combination of one, two, and three simultaneously, all I do there is, so I get, so I'll walk you through rolling death cradle. First part of it is an L1, uh, then in an R2 to R1 to L2. Now, when you get to the L2, the last L2 before the final command, you're just going to hold L2 and hit X. That will count as a simultaneous button press. Um, and there's not many other ways to do this one. It's actually a godsend that I figured this out, because I, my thumbs were raw, I was pissed off, uh, I got tired, I was about to say fuck this game, but, and then I figured out that if you configure stuff to the way you like it, or way you can handle it, you'll be better off. So, just to show you again, so the first part is just the arm breaker, simultaneous goes into the next part. You actually, you'll actually do the uh, square triangle L1, L2 the moment that you see the grab connect, because that is your window of opportunity. So as soon as I see it, I've already, I go straight into it. All right, now you'll see him transition into the second command that you just entered, and this is where you're going to do your rolling death cradle. I would suffice say you actually have plenty of time to get this command in, uh, almost, I think, almost two seconds. Uh, which, you know, in time scale of what we're talking about, plenty of time. Yeah, I just kind of lazily put it in there. You actually, a lot of his commands, some of them, I found that you need to input the moment you can, like as fast as you can. Uh, and the other ones are more like, just kind of put it in there. And then there's quite a few that if you put in too fast, like this one right here, is actually... You have to wait to start the next one until after that part right there. Oh, I didn't get the full thing. Um, so, just to show you that, again, what I mean. So, that's the first part. This is the second part, and this is when... Oh, let me set up. Uh, you can't actually do the next part of that command until he's actually already bent the opponent around and bends their spine backwards, then you do the next part. Um, it's actually quite frustrating uh, when I couldn't figure out why I was going wrong, because initially I thought you just spammed through the whole thing, like I memorized the entire stream, and I was just trying to go through it, and I just thought I was messing it up, when I realized when I just took a moment, I looked back through my history, I was like, no, I inputted it perfectly. The issue is, you have to wait till the different animations start, but just because they say during that animation, the timing isn't exact. There is a little bit of finicky finickiness to it. Some of them have very little forgiveness. Some of them have a lot of forgiveness. Um, and it, you'll just you just kind of figure it out as you go through. So I'm just gonna go back over rolling death crater one more time. Or I mean, fuck it up. Uh, the reason that failed is timing. Oh, uh, that failed because of bad input. At least now I can figure out why they fail. There it is. Oh, 
Oh, that wasn't it. Uh, yeah, bad input. I haven't been able to do it consistently yet, but the first part was just getting it done. That should have been it. Okay, L1. Uh, oh, okay. I'm doing L1, R1. The, uh, quite a few of his uh, commands, uh, the last strings of them are similar enough to, to confuse the hell out of you. I imagine after a couple weeks of doing it, you probably never even worry about it. Because it seems to be like one of his main things is, besides his striking game, which is subpar, in my opinion, uh, quite a bit of it subpar, um, but what you do got is these really nice little mix-ups where... You can you can go in to grab like at random times. Uh, he's got a lot of grab moves. Like that's a down one. He's got a oh, not that one. Got another one. Basically, you can you can you do strikes that are do a mix up. When your opponent wants to get out of that mix up, they uh, they want to duck. Um, instead of doing that strike they were expecting, you'll go into a grab, and from that grab you have all these command uh, grabs that you can do. Um, and what's cool about those is there's three ways to break a grab. Every grab has a certain way you gotta break it. So you've got your L1, which will just be like a... Well, I don't under exactly understand it yet. Here's what I do know. Square and triangle separately break different commands. Square, triangle, together break different commands. And in your grabs, you have... You initiate a grab. Uh, and then you pick the next grab to initiate, and they kind of have to guess. Um, or know, or be able to react to it as it comes up, um, as you're going through it. And since I can barely do it, I'm the one initializing it, I doubt it. Um, they have to guess which grab to, that you're going to go for. Now, I imagine, eventually, people are going to... Oh, I messed it up. I always mess it up. Uh, people are going to just assume that you're going to go for the highest damaging one. Um, the thing I like about King is, yes, you get a lot more damage if you do the full uh, rolling death cradle simply because uh, I'm actually messing that up because it's similar I'll mess it up again if you mess it up you just don't even go forward ah, that should be it right there no what am I messing up here R1 Oh, I'm not holding L2. It's important that you hold L2 and hit X. Uh, look how much damage that does. That's ridiculous. Now, in any part of that, that can be teched. Um, if they know what the tech is. But the thing is, they they have to... Uh, so you start off with your, your, your arm breaker, right? From arm breaker, you've got these two different you can go into triple arm break or to head jammer I'm not sure if they have I'm not experienced enough with the game to know do they have different tech options but if they did and I assume some of them do or at least most of them if they do then your opponent is basically guessing now right here you you're picking what you're going into next so you can go with you can go from arm breaker into this into this into this which goes into your uh, basically goes into your uh, Dragon Sleep Finisher into Rolling Death Cradle. Well, it, you can you have two finishers here. You can Dragon Sleep Finisher, which is um, another one I'm going to show you, either this video or the next, uh, which is actually quite... That one's really tricky to pull off, simply because you have to hold a... You have to... Trust me, you'll you'll see. It's really annoying. Uh, and then you got your Rolling Death Cradle, which I thought was going to be the hardest one, but it's actually... Most people are probably going to... Probably gonna be able to do that one quite easy once you figure out the initial way to do it. Uh, but so you have many different paths, and no matter what grab you're doing, besides the basic grabs, you got a whole lot of paths you can you can do into this. So like, if they pick a different tech option than the one you were going for, then you get that guaranteed damage. Um, and all you got to do is, is continue down your combo. And each one has quite a bit. Like, these are both of the ones you can go into. All right. And then Head Jammer lets you walk into this one. Uh, and then Triple Arm Breaker lets you walk. Oh, I think Triple Arm Breaker is the finish, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Some of them. Yeah. You go into Struggle Combination off Head Jammer. 
triple arm breaker is kind of like its only its own finisher. It took me forever to realize that actually. I kept trying to do triple arm breaker into uh, rolling death cradle. Um, all right, so just a quick recap for this is just rolling death cradle. Uh, I'm gonna put up more videos of each grab, but I'm 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 not exactly used to doing these videos, so one or two at the same time. That was a timing issue. There. Alright. Uh, what I'm messing up here, just because you're like, wow, this guy sucks. Yeah, what I'm messing up here is when I'm hitting a button, when I'm hitting one of my, my paddles here, it's um, I'm not releasing a paddle at the same time uh, or before it connects. So it's inputting weird commands because of it. That ought to be it right there. Yep. So, and, and the reason that's happening is I'm, going, I'm just going too fast when I don't have to. You can kind of lazily put Death Cradle in. Right there, I just lazily put it in. When I rush, I mess it up. But once you get the first part of that combo down, you kind of lazily put this one in. It's 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 one of his most powerful but easiest to master grabs, I think. Uh, I haven't mastered it by any means yet, um, but I mean, just being able to perform the damn things, I think it's the first step. All right. So, any questions? Put it down in the uh, comments down below. If there's uh, the next grab you want to see, let me know. Uh, I've pretty much got them all down. At least I can do them. Uh, and I can go through the process of how you can do them if you're using a controller. Um, any other way of inputting this? I have no idea. I imagine there are a lot of other people doing it. I couldn't find videos on King. I had to sit down for the last two days and figure this all out myself. Which, on one hand, is like, oh yeah, good job. Feel good about yourself. On the other hand, my thumb is raw. My fingers hurt. And I'm about fucking tired of this game. <laughs> Um, so, um, without further ado, I'll check you guys later.